I'm Dan Welcher. I moved to Texas in 1978 to accept a position on the faculty at the university and decided during the first year that I was here actually that this is something that the school needed was a group devoted to playing contemporary music for small groups. This is literature that is important for performance majors, for, for people who want to have a career as a player to be able to play. It's technically much more demanding than most of what they get in the orchestra literature and some of what they get in the wind ensemble literature. It teaches them to count. It teaches them to play very strange harmonies in tune and know when they're in tune. And there's no way to get it from listening. There are no regular quarters before you. There's a triplet on the upbeat and then there's one and. And we have to guess. If I just give you a good snappy, uh, is that sufficient so it doesn't rush? Or do you want mm, mm, a little bit of a subdivision? Okay. And it teaches them a certain kind of aesthetic freedom, a certain kind of breaking down of the barriers of what counts as beautiful. All of that can happen in rehearsing this group and putting on concerts. Most, more than anything, I hope they get a love of playing new music. Uh, they're never going to get the acc accolades that they might get from playing the Mendelssohn Violin Concerto, but if they feel the connection to a living, breathing composer, especially a young composer like this one piece we're doing, Sean Shepard is at barely 30, uh, that's important because w without new pieces to enrich the repertoire, the repertoire is stale, uh, a lot of us that go to orchestra concerts feel that's already happened, that orchestras are ossified. They're all playing mostly old music. So if a group like this can spark some interest among the players and among the audiences, there's hope for new composition as well.